love their Friday night football and they love that high up and display from your side as well. Yeah, I mean, it's important, we've, we've spoken about it all week, how important it is traditionally for us on Friday nights to perform for, for what is a, a fantastic fan base. So we know we had that responsibility tonight and the players have been out there and, and uh, really turned it on and, and, and put in a really top performance and got a, a, a really deserved uh, massive three points. A real 90-minute performance as well and, and you didn't let the, sort of the physical side of things and the stop start of the first half disrupt the way you wanted to play? No, we just keep going because we know the qualities that we have in, in the group and one of them's fitness. We, 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 we understand how fit the, the, the group is. It's great credit to the fitness people here and the lads for, for putting the hard yards in. You can see them now, the ones who didn't play all, all, the, all the game, you can see the, 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 the tough work that they're putting in now because we're going to need them over the course of the season. It's important that everybody's fit in order for us to play the way that we want to play. So no, great credit to the, to the players, all the credit to the players because at the end of the day they cross the line and they got them performing. The fans rolled them on, and it was it was a it was a traditionally fantastic Friday night. In even the first half, I mean, the keeper made a couple of really good saves, didn't he? I mean, you could have been well in front of the break. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, we, we, we said to him at half time, there's there's nothing really to be changed. Just the only thing that, you, that that can change is if you negatively get frustrated because you don't believe you got the rewards for how you played. But it came out the traps like lightning in the second half, and the pressure that they put on was was immense. And it, it, I just believe that some stage that we would maybe get that bit of fortune that's always needed to, to, to score goals or that quality that, that, that's needed um, and, and we were able to do that in the end. And the player who did deserve a little bit of fortune is obviously Josh Hawkes as well. He's made such an impression since he came here. He's real old energy, isn't he? And all trying to make things happen. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's a fantastic addition to the squad. We're delighted to have him here. But we're always de determined that we're going to try and get some flair out in wide areas and some class in wide areas. So um, when we were able to get him from Sunderland, we were really, really pleased. He's getting fitter. He never came here as, as fit as everybody else because he, he was a wee bit on the back foot with that. But as you can see, he's, he's a strong boy and he's getting fitter all the time. And, and he'll be more and more potent for us as the season goes on. And great work down the right-hand side by Josh uh, Dakers Coggley again tonight. I mean, his energy and, and his pace, and he was involved in the, in the setup for McBannon's cross for the second goal. Yeah, I mean, listen, it would be wrong of me to try and to, to pick any of it because I thought, all across the whole team, um, there, there was, they all had a, a, a standard, a, a level of playing that's set a new level for us. They, they were great, um, and, and, and both sides of the games, which is important. We want to press well, and we want we want to run hard, and, and we want to be good with the ball. Um, so they can be pleased with that tonight. But we're, listen, we, there's still a long, long season ahead of us. But certainly, we're looking like we're moving in the right direction. We'll keep keep going. We'll keep the standards high. We won't. Any big parts in the back yet? We're just going to enjoy our weekend, which everybody's entitled to do, uh, and we'll be in again on Monday, and we'll work hard again and, and keep trying to do what we, what we try and do, and that's representing this club properly. As you rightly say, a night when it was difficult to pick a man of the match because the team performance was so good. And another thumping header from your captain again. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a great cross, but even so, you know, Clark, he has that ability, doesn't he? Well, it's terrific, isn't he? I mean, he does deserve us to speak about him. I thought, I thought him and Davis were outstanding as well. I thought that, that with the ball, I thought they were fantastic. It's important that we are good with the ball. If we're going to play the type of football we want, that they, they've, they've got to be good with the ball. Goalkeeper was excellent as well. He's made a massive save. We have about 15 minutes to go. That sometimes will go unseen, but he's made a terrific save to make it sure that it's not too um, nervy for us at the end or, or give him some kind of momentum. So that was a big save. But like, like I say, all across the, the, the pitch, the lads that came on um, was, was, was terrific. Rolled on by a a fantastic traditional Friday night uh, crowd that I, I, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed. I do really enjoy my football, and I really enjoyed um, being a part of that this evening. Yeah, Tom Davis, of course, hit the woodwork himself, didn't he, with a with a terrific header as well. Uh, and Ross Doon, you know, he's coming to the side, got his opportunity when, when Joe got injured, sort of thing. But again, he's shown a lot of composure, hasn't he, as well? Well, he's a top goalkeeper. You don't play for Celtic, and, uh, and uh, for as long as he has, if you're not a really good goalkeeper, I obviously knew him from a time in Scotland, and was I was very keen when I knew that there was a gap. It was needed to be filled by a top-class goalkeeper um, to, to get him down here. But we have, we've got to say, Joe's equally as good. We have two brilliant number ones. We have Scotty coming back, hopefully, after the new year. We want competition for places. But Tramir needs good goalkeepers. Um, it always traditionally has had good goalkeepers. I'm pleased at the minute that, that we have another two and one coming back from injury, hopefully uh, as soon as possible. So no, no, the, 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 
the both uh, top draw and we're pleased to have them here. A long way for the Colchester fans on a Friday night and over 7,000 <coughs> here and the vast majority of those are, are Tramere fans. I mean, that's absolutely tremendous, isn't it? Oh yeah, but, I mean, listen, we all love football and it's terrific that, that people are coming so far to come and watch football and yeah, they deserve great credit for that. And, but we obviously are delighted that, that we've done what we had to do to represent the people of the world properly. And we know how important Friday nights are to, to the, the, the community and we were going to make sure that, that if we were going to give it everything we could in order to try and give them a, a weekend that they can go and and, and um, go and get really involved in because we all know that they, they'll, they'll enjoy their weekend now and every credit to for, for them, every credit for the support that they gave us tonight because it helped us to get over the line where so they can go and enjoy themselves uh, over the weekend that I'm sure that they will do um, so, and, and we will as well. So uh, no, it's, it's, uh, we'll, we'll have a good weekend but like I say, there will be feet back on the floor again we, have, we will go back in on Monday again and we will be working hard again and we will be getting prepared for the next game um, with, with this group of players. I know it's tied to the top, but you know you go level with Port Vale, you know, you're up to fourth now, the way it is. I mean, I mean that's Joint third. Joint third, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's great, that's great though, isn't it, for the confidence and, and, and not just the support of the players and the group as well, and a, and a reward from them really for working so hard to get where they are at this stage of the season. Well, it's, it's not really about rewards yet, but there's no rewards given out in, at, at this stage. But it gives us an opportunity to, to, to contest uh, big games at this stage of the season, that's all it is. And, but Tramier should do that anyway. It's, it's not something that we shouldn't that we should be surprised or big pats in the back. We should be competing at the, at the right end of the table anyway, the size of the football club and the, and the quality of players that we have here. So that's the demands of the, 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 and the asks of, of the, the fan base, quite rightly so. Um, so no, we, we will enjoy our, our weekend. But like I say, and I keep saying, and it, and it will be about that, we'll be back to work Monday again and, and you, you wouldn't know any different. We, they'll get their heads done again on Monday and we'll be ready to roll again. What play tonight? Thank you. Traffic stop. We spoke right. yesterday about um, Tramir's or supporters' love of uh, wingers and, uh, and Friday night football, all the romance of that. And that's, it. that's exactly what you got here, really. It wasn't a particularly early doors from, uh, from uh, Callum McManaman and setting the tempo. Yeah, we, we, we... Listen, it's a tradition and a way of playing at, at football clubs and... I'm probably in a good place to, to understand what that is, so I try and find the types of players that, that I know will satisfy that that desire that we have here at this football club to have the types of players. It's not always easy, they're not always available, but um, we we work very hard in recruitment and we're able to get a couple in, um, including Feeney, um, that can go and actively excite the fans the way that they do. But we've also got fantastic fullbacks. That have got, Unbelievable energy. We've got midfield players that can play. We've got unbelievable energy from Foley. I mean, it's just ridiculous the, the numbers that he that, that he covers in, in, in games of football. And we've got two centre backs that know how to uh, marshal a back four. So all across the, the team, we're, we're really pleased with him. But we, uh, of course, it is important. I think to try and make that when we do get the opportunity, we do get wingers. We, we, we love our wingers, don't we? They excite me. They excite me. I I like when a winger gets it, and, and it's. It's, it's not something through football you see an awful lot on those wingers and people running at people and hitting by lines. It's something that's kind of died out of the game. So I'm just pleased that we, we have uh, some good ones here that try and get to the by line and, and excite people and create chances. So oh, uh, they, they can be satisfied with their night spot tonight. Yeah, I was just looking behind the goal in the second half there. Loads of lads packed in behind, really enjoying themselves. And it, it, it's not to be underestimated, is it, how important it is to be able to put on good entertainment and, and bring young supporters through now, because they're, they're going to go back to school or whatever, the colleges next week and speak to what a good time they had here on a Friday, aren't they? Well, the people of the world are very proud people and they love their football. So it's important that we play in a way that satisfies them. Well, that's what we try and do here because they're very proud people, they, they love their, their, their team, so when we they get the opportunity, it's important that we put teams together that satisfies that, so that's what we always try and do, and this group of players are moving in the right direction in order to try and do that. Uh, Colchester looked like they tried to disrupt uh, your game a little bit in that first half, but what was significantly different in the second half to the first that sort of reaped the rewards in the end? We've just got to keep going, we have a way of playing and we've just got to believe that at some stage our quality will show through and, we, and we'll be able to open the door and, and, and score a goal, we've just got to keep going keep patient and keep banging away at the things that we believe gives us a good opportunity of winning games and we just so we just keep going and we don't get disappointed if we don't score early we just keep going and believe that at some stage we'll get you. 
you know, I have to do a lot of defending throughout the course of the match, which is a tiring task if you're doing it constantly. Was that your thought process behind the later substitutions in the game to get fresh legs on and, and run them a bit more ragged? Oh, we've got a good squad, so I want them all to be involved. Like I say, there'll be different heroes every week over the course of the season. We're going to need them all. There's some that never came on tonight that I'm telling you over the course of the season we'll be talking about them because they'll maybe come on and and help us to get over the line or, or, or re replace somebody that may be suspended or injured or whatever, you're going to need a strong squad if you're going to keep keep moving forward and keep momentum. So no, it was just that we, we trust them all. We thought there was a job that needed done and we looked to run and, and the players that could do their jobs were available to us and we just, we, we just put them on because we trust them all the good players. Is Peter Clark on a good goal bonus? <laughs> I don't know, you need to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get involved now, but he's, he's certainly, uh, I mean, I'm just really, really pleased that we have him here. I mean, um, there's anybody who suffers from ageism um, should have a good look at themselves and see what this guy does. He's incredible. Um, his, his professionalism is absolutely top draw. He doesn't just turn up and come and play. Listen, the work that goes into him making sure that he's ready for every performance is a great example to any young player uh, out there. I mean, he's, he's a great uh, asset to this football club. It doesn't seem all that long ago that Tramie couldn't buy a goal and all of a sudden they seem to be flowing now and... After 11 games, you're up to fourth. What's so at this sort of third? Fair, <laughs> third, third, as you rightly correct me. Um, at this sort of quarter stage of the season, what's what's your assessment so far? We're, we're, we're up to uh, tonight. We're up to thirds, joint thirds. So that's where we're at. But long, long way to go. Long, long way to go. A lot of football to be played. A lot of hard work to be put in. We need to stay together as a football club. The fans, ourselves. There'll, there'll be ups and downs. We, 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 it's a lot too long a time to go to believe that, 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 that if you believe that there's not going to be ups and downs, then you're kidding yourself on. Just need to stick together and understand that we have the, we have a, a group of players here who can who can uh, uh, cause damage and, 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 and represent this football club properly. So we just stick together like we, we always do, and we'll keep knocking the games off and keep trying to perform and win. win games and get them good good weekends. Three points before we've even reached Saturday. You can take the horse out all day tomorrow, can't you? I'll take it out all day, yeah. We've got some friends around, so it was extra pressure in the Mellon household that we got a result today <laughs> because their weekend was hinging on us getting a result because if we don't get a result, there is no weekend. <laughs> so, uh, weekend uh, can resume and everybody in the Mellon house will be very pleased about that.